Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix if you're facing pink screen or purple screen issue with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So to perform a clean installation, go to Nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here. By default, express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen. Now, put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is for AMD integrated graphic card or dedicated graphic card user. You can go to AMD website. Now, once you go to AMD website, you can use auto detect feature. So you can use this auto detect feature. You can download this and then it will find if there is any update and once the update is complete, restart your computer and then check. Now, if you if you have Intel integrated graphic card, in that case, you can use Intel driver and support assistant and then go to the website, click on download and then you can download that file and then you can run Intel driver support assistant. Once you launch it, you will see if there is any update here. You can see there is update for graphic card. So you can click on download all, install all and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card. Disable one of the graphic card driver in device manager. Now for this, you can make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager. Expand display adapter. Now in my case here you can see this is the Intel integrated graphic card. You can make a right click and then click on disable device and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even disable your dedicated graphic card. You can make a right click, disable it, launch the game. You can enable this Intel one. You have to enable it and then you can disable this and then you can check. Check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this you can type in graphics settings in Windows search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on add desktop app. Go to the game installation folder. This is the location in my case. You can select the game exe file. Click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game and then over here select high performance Nvidia or AMD graphic card. Select high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try Intel. So check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to install all these extensions from Microsoft Store. So all the links are provided in the video description. Open these links in a browser and here you can see VP9. Click on install. It will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store. In my case, it is already installed. So if you see install option, hit install and then download this AV1. And then again, click on install, open Microsoft Store and then install it and install this web media extension. Open it and then click on install. It will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. Open Microsoft Store. Click on install and install this HEVC file. So once you copy this link, open this link in a browser. Now here you can see HVVC video extension. You can click on install, open Microsoft Store and then install it once the installation is complete. Now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is for AMD Redon. If you have integrated graphic card, in that case, you can type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings. And over here, click on environment variables. Over here, you can see system variables. Click on new over here. And then over here, you can type in the variable name that is disable underscore layer underscore AMD underscore switchable graphics underscore one. And then you can 
paste it over here and for variable value you can type in the number one and then click on ok and then again click on ok now in future if you don't want this you can always select this and you can delete it if you don't want this so once you do this click on ok ok and then you can launch the game and then check this has worked for many players so it might work for you next step is to rename blue archive folder uh, in this location now before you do this create a backup first because you will lose all the game progress you have to start everything from scratch now for this open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open local low folder now over here you can see nexon games folder open this folder and you can rename this blue archive so before you rename it copy this folder you can paste it to the desktop once you have backup created now you can make a right click on this folder and then you can rename it whatever you want now once you rename it now you can launch the game but the game will start from scratch you will lose all the game progress but you already have a backup so next step is to try these in launch options so you can go to steam make a right click on the game and in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can type in dash w-i-n-d-o-w-e window now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this empty it and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files instead of launching the game from steam you can make a double click launch the game from here now it's still not working make a right click on the game and then select properties and then go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes hit apply and then click on ok and follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game file so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this problem so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel